Hi, if you're uh, if you're following on from the last video, then uh, thanks very much. Uh, on the last video, you saw that I took the valves out of the cylinder head. On this one, well, they're all carboned up. All the exhaust valves are carboned up. It turned out that the the inlet valves they're they're pretty much scrap. I'm getting a new set coming, but on the on the exhaust valves, they're carboned up as you as you would actually expect. So here, I'm going to actually use I'm going to clean them. Um, maybe some people think it's a bit unorthodox or whatever. If you do it and you lose a finger, not my fault, okay? So take no liability if you choose to actually do this. And if you don't have a pillar drill, because the first one I did, I did with just a normal little cordless drill. I put it in the vise, held it there, um, and cleaned it that way. So you have, an, you have an alternative if you don't have a pillar drill. So hope you enjoy. Thanks. That's all the valves out. Just pop it this morning for a wee while. They're not, I would say they're not too bad. They don't look... Well, we'll see how pitted they are. Look at that one. There's, there's definitely quite a fair bit of build up on them. Okay, this is one of the exhaust valves. Um, as you can see, very heavily carbonated. Probably not much more than you would expect on a on an old bike or on any bike that's not really been maintained. Um, so what I'm going to do is try and take that off. Now, I've take I've done one already, and there's the end result which is pretty decent. So uh, I'll just try and do this one. Okay, so I'm lucky enough to have a, a pedestal drill. So I put the valve into the drill uh, and then turn it on. And I have an old scrappy chisel. I have an old scrappy chisel and I'll use that to, to take it off. That's it finished compared to what it was. It's pretty good. Seats are seats are really good as well. Okay, so that's it finished. You know, it's not like a brand new valve, but uh, you know, in terms of the the stem and things, but that's not really a problem. The seat itself is pretty immaculate. Some pits down there though, but again it's at the bottom end, so that's not gonna actually impact it as long as the as long as the seat is clean, which it is, that seat's really good. I'm 